In 1982, a fantasy book was published advertising a treasure hunt. Readers soon realized the hunt was real, prompting a nationwide search for solutions to the clues presented. Today we discuss the mystery known as The Secret. This is Red Web. So The Secret, which is the book we're talking about, greatly expanded upon the ideas of the masquerade. It featured a team of artists, 12 paintings, and we have 12 verses. It's up for the readers to kind of combine which verse goes with which painting Mm -hmm. and use the visual clues with the written clues to then find the city and therefore the park or the destination within the city that these are located. You then dig, you find a key, you send that key to him or now his family because, you know, he has since passed on. But you send it to his family. What a cool the family will behind. procure the gem to you. So this comes back to the fair people. That's what this story is kind of about. And the fair people, they include fairies, goblins, leprechauns, elves, etc. And they were essentially, per this story, forced out of their homes in the old world by man. Man, capitalized M, humankind. What the? Hell? And they then, these fair people, immigrated to North America. Or AKA the New World, I should say. Mm-hmm. And they brought with them the 12 Wonderstones. The Elvish people were the ones who created the casks that contained these stones. And then with the arrival of man from the old world to the new world, they once again, these fair people, hid once more. And essentially to figure out where these casks are buried, you got to combine what you learn from the lore of each nation of these fair people combined with these paintings. There are 12 gemstones, and they are all representative of the birth month stones so in order to decipher which is which you got to look at the paintings uh there's also birth month flowers and uh, clock hands in some of these paintings to indicate which month it is and the reason why 12 is important is not only because there are 12 months but due to the lore apparently there are 13 nations that the fair people hail from and 12 of them each have a stone representative of them. Oh, is one like an evil, you know what I mean? Ooh. Like, like the fire nation yeah. of the group. You yeah, know? That, that, that'd be funny. People needed to pair up the verse, one of 12, with the paintings, one of 12. And from that, you would get visual clues as well as word clues on where this was buried somewhere in North America. And once you found the spot, there would be a ceramic key in a plexiglass container buried not super deep. He mentioned that it was usually about three feet underground that it would be buried, so it wasn't super difficult to find. Anyway, you take these keys once you find them, and it will open a safety deposit box that belongs to Price, and that would then contain a gemstone. And the book wrote that total, these gemstones were worth $10,000. I imagine that they're worth more today. They must yeah. be relatively small right. for 12 stones to add up, but that's you know not an insignificant amount of money. No, not at all. Once you think you have found the location, instead of just like willfully digging around to go find this thing, what you can do is fill out the form in the back of the book to then message the publisher to say like, hey, I think I found it. Here's the location I'm at. Is this close is or is amazing. this accurate? That is so smart. Yeah. And then they can be like, okay, yeah, you found it or no, you did not find it. The first key was found only one year after the book's release by a group of students in Chicago, Illinois. Yep. Eric Gasiorowski. Rob Rodell and David James, who found it in Grant Park, as I mentioned, in Chicago, Illinois, all 19 years old. The fifth painting was the one that they used. It was nicknamed Castle Hat, features someone with an emerald earring. They are visual clues that led people to the water tower in Chicago, Illinois. There is a silhouette of statues from the Bowman statue that is actually located at the entrance of Grant Park on Congress Drive. So this really started to hyper-focus people in on this location. So here's one line from the verse, quote, Where M and B are set in stone and Congress R is known. So from this line, Eric and his friends found M and B translated to Mozart and Beethoven, whose names were carved in the symphony center, because this verse refers to M and B being etched in stone. There's also a railroad track below this area, and that's probably where R is known. Congress being congress drive where the entrance to grant park is yeah another line says quote l sits and left beyond his shoulder is the fair folks treasure holder so from this they were able to decipher that the cask was past the statue of abraham lincoln aka l where they could see the next clue the next clue being quote the end of 10 by 13 is your clue and from this they saw that there was a path and down this path there was trees on either side there actually was 10 trees on one side and 13 Damn, trees on the other. Damn, that's so 
so sick. And then the last one. So now they've gone down the edge of the path and they said, this is where the clue lies. So the last line they looked at was, seek the sounds of rumble, brush, and music. Hush. And from that, they said at the end of the path of the trees, they could hear the rumble of the train. They also figured that brush and music might be because of the Art Institute and the music of the Petrillo band shell that were nearby. And so from all of this combined, they got to the end of the verse. They said, okay, this must be at least very close to where this treasure is buried. But even with this specific area figured out, the group struggled with many dig holes to figure out where this was. They managed to find the cask. Their their shovel hit it and slipped on it, and they said, oh, this is it. They pull out the key. They sent it to Price, and they were awarded with an emerald, as you can imagine, from the painting. So damn cool. It's very cool. That is sick. That is the secret in brief. If you want to know where the next nine casks might be, we discuss those theories on Red Web wherever you get podcasts. 